My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. 
Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito. It'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point-blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Okay, this is it. Stop here. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. 
Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the food's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, uh, God rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the boat these. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. We're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. Now just follow me. Hey. We got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you.
Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, Da, this is a bank loan of 20,000,000 yuan. It's about 35,000,000 yuan. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was? Let's get back in the car. Alright, fellas, the hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot, Vito! Vito, watch our back. Back me up, Vito. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got him. Nice. Oh, shit. Too too many many of Come on. Run. Move your asses! <laughs> Vito, watch our back! Stay away from these windows, fellas! Damn it, Vito! No sense Stay staying down. up here! Let's get down there! Vito! Kick the door in! The hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking sick. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute, these guys ain't cops? Kill the bastard! Shoot Vito! Vito, watch our back! <clears throat> I'm going in! Here comes more of them! Hold on! I got them! Oh, bingo! Nice! But there's still too many of them! Come on! Ah, oh, shit! Can't go back that way! Run! Vito, watch our back! Vito. Fuck you! Come on, 
let's go! Cap down! Going in! Vito, here we go. Hey, I got something for you. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. I'm back. Let's go, Vito. Not completely fucking useless. Got him. Cover you. Move it. Isn't that bad? You're worse than a bro. Shit. That was fucking close. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck. Lose them. <clears throat> this one's mine. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. I'll cover you. Move. <clears throat> oh, you okay? It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck! Lose them! Did you fucking die already?
Hey, Vito, ease up. Well, you're going too fast. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Nice Those Watch where you're going! Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. All right. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? A bunch of different guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you can hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carlo before you either get bumped off or end up back in the camp. The only time you're ever going to see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I ever steer you wrong. Well, there was the old BA job. And that time we almost got killed when we whacked that fat fucking sand island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again. Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. Jackpot. Hey, 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 take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you could be happy. All right, all right. You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. 
Now, Joe, I'll tell you on the way. Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit. Does he know we was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Where we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? Sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. Yeah, he's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! Oi, my tongue! Back me up, dude! I won't want to get on your bad side! Fuck! Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? What do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. All the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more, the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we were in, ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual? We got to do this the smart way. All right?
more fun. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Is your fucking membership fee. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gun while you were at it? down. I can waste these things. What are you doing? Hold on. Get the ass off behind the bar. Come on, Marco Polo. Watch out! They're shooting from up top! Come on! Fuck you, you assholes how to shoot. Come on, Vito! Let's move up! Get the guy on the stairs! Oh, more the fuck Where the go. fuck are they all coming from? Up there, in the window! Side thumbs up! Are you inside? Come on, Vito! Waste them all! Big mistake fucking with me. One more, and we're done. Come on, Mr. Big Man! Come on, Vito, move for Christ's sake! Watch out, here comes more of them! Oi, my tongue! Oi! Oi, my tongue! Right between your slanty eyes. All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks. Yes. Hey, you said we gotta be smart, right? Where the hell is that? He's it's gotta be running right somewhere. You. Let's keep going. That's it, Vito. Kill them all. Every last one of them. Come out, Fuck, just keep on coming. How many more they got back there? Don't matter, I got plenty of bullets left. Take them out quickly, though. We gotta find one. Hey, leave some of these little bastards for me. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Now 
Nice. All right, let's just sneak through here. Blasted him. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down there. Get ready. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine, your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. Come on, let's go, Vito. Get in the elevator. Looks 
like this place won't be open enough for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. Back me up, Copy Vito. That. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. Grandma, do you know that? Ah, oh, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! I'm going in. Copy that. Oh, that's the best you got. Think of something. Hurry up here. Way to go, Vito. I'm the best. Come on, show yourself. Get the fuck out. All right, we lost him. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh, was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my Request place, would you? All right. Good afternoon, sir. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Please come again.
that light turn red? What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? <coughs> hey, go take a nap or something. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful.